What's going on YouTube? My name is FG3000. I'm back in the place to be and welcome back to Knight's Chronicle. In today's video, we have a brand new banner, so let's jump right into it, the Cynthia banner. Now, I took a look at this before I started recording and I must say her kit, the concept of her kit is extremely unique. So let's jump right in here. So her leadership skill is increases all allies attack by 15%. Um, so this character is kind of like a one size fits all teams. So if you have like a rainbow team and you're not really sure who you should set your leadership skill on, you can throw her as your leader and pretty much just cover everything. All allies get 15% attack boost, so that's pretty interesting there. Her passive, all right, so this is where it starts to get a little bit interesting. Um, she has a 70% chance to apply a debuff that uh, impacts attack type enemies, which basically decreases their output by 30%. So very interesting there. Her passive, let's skip this for a second. Let's go here first, all right? Um, so her number one does damage, ignores enemy defense with a 25% chance to silence the target for one turn and a 60% chance to silence that target if the caster herself is silenced. So you might be thinking, if you haven't read this and you haven't spoiled it, um, you might be thinking, well, how can I guarantee that who I'm going against has the ability to silence the caster? Great question. I'm glad you asked. Her number two does penetration damage to all enemies and silences herself for one turn. All right. Her number three does damage to three enemies and silences herself for three turns and does more damage if you do it to a single source. So her two and her three after you cast them, you basically silence yourself with the only thing that you're able to do is your number one. So this is very interesting. Her number one is actually pretty scary since it ignores defense and it can silence other people. This is going to be a really good way to kind of shut down uh, shut down people like, uh, let's just say Ramu, for example. You can shut her down so she can't heal or res. Uh, this doesn't have anything to do, to do with passives. Um, ca uh, casters like Ezna, I mean, the the... The, the impacts of this ability are just widespread. Um, so being able to basically just take someone completely out of the lineup by silencing their two and three is a very powerful ability indeed. And this is where her passive comes in as well. Um, so silent time. So all attacks become critical strikes when she is uh, silenced. And also her multi-strike goes up by 75%, her counter-strike goes up by 75%, and she has an 80% chance of silence to attack her when attacked. Holy crap, that is amazing. So she sets herself up with her number two and three to silence herself, and she starts ripping people in half with her number one. Wow. That, that's crazy. So um, a lot of people ask me what type of runes that I would uh, choose on some of these characters. By far, crit damage, crit damage, reroll, crit damage, crit damage, because um, that's going to be great. Yeah. So that is Cynthia. Um, are we going to summon four? Yes, we Oh, hold on, hold on trying to ruin my video here we got to do our warm-up summon oh man almost messed up tradition not that tradition really helps at all <laughs> but whatever oh a blue jester welcome to the squad very nice all right so let's go in here as usual i don't want to do all the steps to get cynthia please 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 i've been seeing the 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 spam up here on the top of the uh chat window of all the other people getting it i want to be a part of that party so let's go there's our rare, there's our super rare. There will not be a one pool <sighs> SSR. That'd have been nice. Just to do one pool and be done with this banner. <laughs> Aristo, Esmeralda. And then here come the slew of blue characters. So nothing that I can earn any diamonds on whatsoever. So let's keep rolling. Ah, oh, come on. <laughs> I have no, you know what? Forget these guys. I was saving these little guys because I was going to level them up to get diamonds. I'll get them again later. For the sake of this video, I will get them again later. All right, let's try to go back in here. I'm, I'm going to have to do that multiple times. We're going to have to cut the video, but no worries. No worries. Let's go. Second pool. There is no SSR. Cordelia. Yes, you're a good character. I do not need you at the moment. I already have like 10 dupes of you. I'm exaggerating, but pretty close. Altier. Uh, all right, so a new version of him, a four-star version, so I will be able to get some diamonds off of that. We'll take it every single time. And here come the blues. Only two, three characters I can get some diamonds off of. Um, Altier, B Bonnie, Trumpet Girl, N uh, Girl that uses a shell. <laughs> 
<laughs> that's, you know what? Expand these slots. Whatever. I'm, I'm going to just kind of do this just for a little bit. There we go. I got a lot of slots. I don't sell anything. I'm a hoarder. If you guys have watched any of my videos, Ninja Voltage, for example, I hoard everything. I was the guy that had all the blue. Come on, please. Um, but I'm a hoarder in video games. Not in real life, though. There's Jess. If you see my apartment, it is very minimalistic. I don't have anything on the wall. I don't do, like, little knickknacks or anything like that. I'm just a very, very simple guy. But when it comes to video games, I want to save everything. Amulet. This is why I'm looking forward to the PvP series that I'm doing and kind of expanding it out to do all kinds of different themes. Because I'm going to be saving all these characters. So there's going to be a lot of different themes coming with that. So here we go again. No blues or uh, no nothing that I can earn gems off of as well as no SSRs. I got a feeling it's going to be one of those pulls where I got to go all the way to the final step. Jake... Mmm. No bueno. No bueno. There's Esther. I'll take another dupe of Esther. Esther's on our, our, our all dark team at the moment. Goes Yan. Let's go ahead and spam out the rares. Ugh. You know what? I got a better idea. I got a better idea. We are not going to spend any more diamonds getting hustled by this game and their limited uh, inventory slots. Um, so let's just do this. Take all our rares, evolve them together. There we go. So that should do a little bit. Yeah, that's fine. That'll be enough. So back to the banner. Come on, Cynthia. Where are we right now? Oh, we are so... If I can end it right here, it'd be perfect. Right here at Tier 3. I don't want to go any further in any of these tiers. Please, right here. Come on. <sighs> Dang it. I wish I would have remembered which way it's supposed to turn. But I, I totally forgot. Oh, Theo, why... <laughs> <sighs> there you go. And I also think I made a mistake because I think one of those rares that I just combined to evolve, I could have made some diamonds off of. But that's what happens when you do this stuff a lot. Ooh, Scarlet. I like Scarlet. Ooh, I got a new Scarlet. Pretty sure some of those rares I was going to be able to make diamonds off of. But this is what happens when you do things live. Getting some, a good degree of SRs. And here come the blues. Welcome to tier three, ladies and gentlemen. All right, here comes tier four. <laughs> we got one more summon to go. Uh, please. This might be the first time I don't get. Yes, yes. Oh, thank you. We're out. We're out. We're done. Cynthia, welcome to the squad. Oh, I just gave up hope right there. Y'all felt it in the silence of my voice. Me being silent allowed you to feel what my voice couldn't tell you. All right, Jess, whatever. Let me, let me out of here. Great job. I'm out. I don't, I don't, I don't even care anymore. <laughs> oh, so we got Cynthia. Another, another Saya dupe. We'll take that. Man, that was close. I was looking at those diamonds like, it's going to be another one of those. Very cool. Here come the blues. Alec is really cool, man. Like, not to use... Well, maybe to use. I've never really used a rare. Um, but fighting against him, like his uh, his voiceover, his attacks are very cool, actually. So we got ourselves a Cynthia. So let's go ahead and take a look at her animations and uh, see what she's all about. What is she? Is she in the Shadow Guild? No. She's a marvelous SSR hero? No. She's just an honorable, just honorable lady? Yes, she is. There she is, Cynthia. Very nice with her little puppet that does all the speaking for her as she becomes silent. Here's her number one. That's going to be... This little dainty attack is going to be the thing of nightmares for people. Here's her number two. This is the AoE. Little teddy bear yells at everyone. Here's the... Oh. Okay. Animations are so-so. I'm more interested in her, her kit and her dynamic and what she's going to kind of bring to my PvP squad. Um, so that is her. So let's see what she looks like as we evolve her up. Um, she is fire, right? There she is. No, 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 no. Hold on, FG. Relax, relax. Um, bum, 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 bum. How about that? 
Oh, that's way too much. Way over. About as long as it's under about 10k, I just do it. I just make it happen. I wish it was a lot like. Uh, is it wrong to pick up girls in a dungeon where you can get some of your currency back? So rare to get a super success that's actually worth anything. Here's our next evolved state. There you go. Put a little hat on her little doll there. Oh, this is actually really good timing too because I need another fire unit for uh, time, the time void tower thingy. Because right now it's green, so you want to bring fire units, of course. Thank you for the extra diamonds. Now, as far as um, what I'm going to do for her abilities, I'll go ahead and just show you. Uh, attack up for sure on that one. Um, for her next one, I'm doing arena damage because you guys know I kind of focus on PvP. Um, here... Uh, who am I scared of that's a green unit right now? Or, I'm, I'm sorry, water. Who Who's a water unit that I should be afraid of? You know what I mean? I'm thinking about in PvP. I'm not really sure there's any water units that strike fear in my heart. Like, most people just use Demos, for example. I don't think there are any... So, I'm not going to do this elemental thing. I'm just going to do basic defense there. Let's take a look at that again in a second. Um, decrease damage in arena. Absolutely. Will be the next one. Crit damage, like I said before. All about crit damage. So, we're going to go Blade Twister. Um, and then, of course, here's Silent Time, which is going to just be a beast and a half of an ability. So... I am super, super excited about getting her powered up. Um, once again, don't don't play like me. Don't 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 play like me. All my resources are all over the place. I am the most spread out person on YouTube when it comes to Knights Chronicle. Um, good for variety when it comes to my YouTube videos, but not great for like min maxing. But I don't I don't really care about min maxing. I chase waifus. All right, this is not a waifu. She's a she's a friend. She's a lolly. Can't can't make a lolly a waifu. You can't can't do it. <laughs> demonetize demonetize all right so that's gonna do it for this video i think i'm gonna go ahead and get her all powered up um so let's go ahead and end this off with the uh the additional things that have been added to the uh game so but first first i want to confirm something right now since we we're just thinking about it. esna i was like who's a, a a person that i should fear that's water esna okay but other than that she should be pretty safe out there, so I'm not really going to worry too much about um, getting her elemental defense up because, yeah, it's just really Ezna. That's the only person you really have to look out for. Um, so, that will do it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Now, as far as things that have been added to the game, we do have another advent added. Um, it's been around before, um, but right now it's half off. So, the Xenon event is half off, and then we have Natasha's advent half off. Um, Sophia is here, and then we also have Alice as well, and then Julia is still here as well, half off. Um, so this is a really cool stage, guys. I mean, if you were trying to convince one of your friends to play this game, this should be the stage that you show them. Like, do you want to play this game? Let me show you a little something something about this game, and this is the stage, man. I really, really enjoy this one. So as far as how autoplay friendly this one is, I'm going to say it's... It depends on what, what type of RNG you get on the last round. So I'm using Nyx as my leader because she gives a 40% attack boost if I'm running all dark, which I am. Um, of course, Claudia gives us immunity to charm. And then Trisha increases all of our attacks by 100%. Um, so a lot of DPS in this squad. But look at this stage, man. I love this stage. <laughs> at a freaking concert right now. That's, that is awesome. Definitely liking that. Um, and like I said, if you want to recommend this game to someone and they were like, oh, I don't know, man, how is the game good? Like, let me show you this stage right here. This should tell you everything you need to know. Um, for whatever reason, I always have enough speed to smack her in the face once before she disappears or that might just be predetermined. I don't. I'm not sure. Not sure, actually. There we go. FG, is one of your themes going to be all music characters? Yes. Yes, it is. Um, there is at least three characters that either have an int no four. I think I'm all I think I can do an all music team. Trumpet, guitar, microphone, and then Trish or Natasha. I mean, yeah, I can almost do a full just <laughs> just a full like band. Um, I need one more person. There might be a fifth person that's a that has some type of musical instrument. Um, but the off the top of my head is Akia here. I think that's her name. You got Trisha with the uh, guitar, Natasha here. You have Bonnie with the trumpet. 
someone else maybe. I have to take a look at that. Th those are going to be the teams that are a little bit harder for me to do themed concepts for. Mostly because I don't really want to power up a rare, and I think Bonnie with the Trumpet is a rare. But in order to make the theme complete, I would have to bother leveling up a rare. So, ugh, I don't know. I don't know. I might have to, like, put that theme off for a little while and hope that an SR is added that, <laughs> you know, like, fits, fits that void or something like that. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Or maybe we'll do... Maybe, maybe what we'll do is try to do something like... Let's say I make Claude the uh, the leader of the band. I'm just thinking out loud because this is a pretty boring fight. <laughs> I'm just thinking, so what if Claude was the lead singer of the band? Because he has that kind of like, you know, uh, heavy metal band look regardless. And then all the other ones would be the band members. Then I could do it. Then I could avoid having to use a rare. And I can actually have an SSR in the team to kind of help get us through the PvP, uh, PvP ladders. So that is definitely going to come. Very, very awesome. But anyway, I'm not going to just let this uh, just kind of play out at all. Um, depending on who she summons on this last stage can kind of impact on how easy the autoplay is. But I haven't found any situations where um, I, I thought for sure I was going to lose. Because Claude can almost solo her. Um, because they just go back and forth, recovering, putting up shields. Claude just continually um, lowers her attack power, and it's just really hard to kill Claude. So if you have a Claude that's near, like, the level of mine, um, two to three purple stars, you shouldn't have any problem just autoing this one out um, and just getting all of your advent heroes here. Do I get one? Don't get one. But anyway, that will do it. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, once again, my name is FG3000. Thank you so much for tuning in. I'm going to get my Cynthia powered up as quickly as possible um, because I really want to see what her impact on what her impact in PvP is. Because, uh, yeah, being able to reduce the power of all attack, um, uh, attack heroes on the enemy side, using her silence to kind of... That just seems so cool to me. So I'm going to be working on my runes. I'm going to get her powered up to at least a four-star purple. And then I will be back with PvP with Cynthia. Um, in between that, we'll have our darkness PvP as well. Um, oh, wait a minute. i got to use my resources to power up my Cynthia. So I'm not going to be able to power up my Esther. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out. I'm FG3000. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you guys next video. Later.